Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am McAlphanine. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you could, please click that like button, turn it into a rocket, and send it to the moon. So we have two big announcements today. Um, we just got a tweet from Stellar. They just completed one of their meetings. You had to sign up to actually participate and listen in on that meeting. And the tweet is such smart contracts on Stellar. You do know what that means. You know what that means. They're going for it all. You know this is for the banks. You read the PDF from the BIS. <laughs> money, 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 money. They are, they're making it even more delicious for the banks. I know this. What, it, what that, that's what this is about because the Bank of International Settlements was just talking about the utilization of smart contracts. <laughs> Uh-oh, we might be winning too much. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is part of their network innovation and our 2022 roadmap blog. You can go to the stellar.org uh, uh, webpage and check out their blog. Read it for yourself. I will be posting this in the members only section of the community tab for ease of use. Just click that link and you're going to get be taken right here. SDF strategy for 2022 is set and available for all to see on our roadmap. It's ambitious, but so is our mission for creating equitable access to the global financial system. We need to think uh, uh, big to deliver. On our path forward, we're looking at what we can do this year to further trust, minimize innovation, expand a growing anchor network. I was just, <laughs> is it me? Oh no, I don't wanna say Stellar might be watching my videos. We were just talking about anchors and here they released a tweet this is just literally maybe 15 minutes ago. And they're saying they want to expand a growing anchor network. This is their focus. Yes, Stellar. Yes, go get them. And arguably, most importantly, maintain an unrelenting focus on increasing the scale of interoperability and inclusion. Ooh, I'm getting fired up now. That money is starting to increase. <laughs> Stellar is on it. Yes, get fired up, Stellar. Get fired up, take over. We've asked where we can challenge ourselves to adapt new possibilities and see the opportunity they bring to, to extend Stellar. And almost immediately for 2022, we've answered that question with smart contracts. Then they have a video here. Make sure you watch this video. I'm, I'm sure it's very, very informative, okay? And the video is uh, by Justin Rice, the VP of Ecosystem. So you wanna give a, a keen ear to uh, what he's going to be saying. Now, let's continue on here. We believe that adding smart contracts to the network will empower the ecosystem with more room to innovate. Yes, exactly. And you definitely need that because the, the banks, a lot of them from the PDFs that we have read, want programmability when it comes to uh, the, the banking coins and the rails that they're going to be using. So this is very, very good. Oh, this is a great step in the right direction. I love everything that they said today, everything that they did today, what they're posting here. This is very, very good as far as developments. Let's continue on. I'm a little bit excited. Just, just a little bit excited. Just a little bit. The goal is for Stellar to remain one of the most accessible networks for developers so that they can deliver high quality and safe applications to their users while allowing it to adapt and respond to the competitive blockchain landscape. But let's make sure one, one important point is clear. Bringing smart contracts to Stellar is not a departure from the values or vision of the network. A absolutely not and I wouldn't think that either. This actually expands its capabilities as was iterated uh, before in, in earlier sentences. Um, this is a great thing for Stellar. Uh, so let's continue on here. Since the Stellar net network was built for the future of payments, it's critical that smart contracts on Stellar are secure for users, banks, large business institutions, that's exactly who they're talking about, are secure for users and can scale without exorbitant network fees. They're talking about uh, surge pricing. <laughs> Remember, we haven't covered surge pricing in a long time, but it is there. We covered that in about four different videos. There is surge pricing in some of these protocols. So when you have large business institutions and you have banks and in, 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 uh, commercial banks and central banks possibly utilizing your protocol, now we know IBM is working with four governments. That's not to say they're gonna be specifically utilizing Stellar because IBM does have Hedera. They do have Hyperledger Fabric, but let's say that governments are utilizing Stellar. Um, with that much traffic, surge pricing is gonna kick in and send that price through the roof. 
raise it toll, it's gonna it's, that price is gonna raise. So <laughs> trying to make it a little bit better for them. And listen, do everything you can to bring them in, make them comfortable, get them relaxed, because we want that money. Um, <laughs> I'm just being honest. Since the Stellar network was built for the future of payments, critical for the smart contracts on Stellar, uh, our. Uh, on Stellar are secure for users and can scale without exorbitant network fees. If done right, this could set smart contracts on Stellar apart from the rest. Smart contracts aren't new, but the way we could execute them on Stellar, learning from what's been tested in the broader industry could bring new utility in a way that doesn't currently exist. That's why we're pursuing them. So they have a lot to say here. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be releasing many more um, tweets coming up soon. I, I hope that they do. I hope they have a whole lot more to offer and say, but this is great right now. Um, so you wanna go to stellar.org, click on, click on that uh, blog post, give this a read, watch that video that's there, um, give them some traffic on Stellar, send them a tweet, tell them good job, let's keep them fired up. They are on the right track. They want to dominate. This is what I wanna hear. This is what we need. We need them going out there, bringing in new partnerships. I like to say deals, making new deals, doubling the anchors. I told you, didn't I tell you those anchors were key? They're going to be focusing on bringing in, bringing in more anchors by the end of 2022. I can't wait to see the new map. I can't wait to see the new map. I would love to get in there in Asia. Stellar, I'm telling you, I would love to get it. You, I think we are, we're on the same page because my video yesterday I released posing a few things that we could do and sheer up and then you release this today and you're doing almost everything i said <laughs> say for i didn't cover smart contracts though i was talking about anchors mostly and expanding corridors and such but we're on the same page this is major okay so second major announcement the best nfts on the planet just got released you want to go scoop these up i'm pretty sure not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor i'm pretty sure these are going to be increasing in value over the years <laughs> and who would who who released these nfts alpha name <laughs> i have released my nfts at least a few of them i'm going to be release, releasing more nfts in the future but now we just hit eleven thousand subscribers everyone Congratulations to you out there. As a channel, we have reached 11,000 subscribers. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. We're gonna to continue to do well, but we just released uh, our NFTs, a few of our NFTs. And, and so what I'm thinking is, of course, it's going to increase in value as you're scooping them up. And I would say grab them. Some of these are only 20. There's only 20 of them. I have some autographs on there. Mui Linda is autographed, okay? It's only 20 of those. Um, you have potentiality on there, autographed. You have send it to the moon, autographed. There's only 20 of them. You wanna, you wanna grab those up and ask, just imagine how much they'll be worth when I'm at 20,000 uh, 20, subscribers. We're gonna work hard, we're gonna try to get there. 40,000 subscribers. So as the channel grows and as, and I would like to stay humble, but I have to use this word, as my popularity grows, then theoretically those NFTs should increase in value. I have some of my best visual art on there as well as NFTs. That's it. Once you own them, you're the only ones that have that, that NFT. Once you own it, you have the certification to say this is authentic. That's it. None of, no more beyond what is there will ever be minted. All right. You have my King Alphanim series there. Each, each King Alphanim has a different little story uh, attached to them. We got a King Alphanim series there. So check out these NFTs. Go scoop them up. Uh, before all of these other people start buying up the nfts you have a lot of people that just roam around just collecting nfts make sure you scoop some up um and um <laughs> muy linda mi gente muy linda mi gente so that's my my big announcement it is on algorand my nfts are on algorand transaction fees are almost nothing at all you know how algorand i think it's like 0 0.001 algo or is it 0 0.0001 algo for a transaction, I think? And is and my NFTs are on Algorand, Abris.io. Remember we covered them? Yes. So almost non-existent transaction fees. You can't beat that. Go scoop those in. You have to get these NFTs. Um, 
Don't let the outsiders get them. <laughs> Don't let the outsiders scoop these up, all right? Um, making all that money off the Alpha Meme NFTs and they're not even subscribers, you know? <laughs> so you get to hear it first before I post it everywhere else, Twitter and such. So now that you have that information, what are you going to do with it? I know what I'm going to do with it. So until next time, let's get to the money.